back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weed, and here on my channel, we coach you on three crucial aspects of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we always push you forward as you continue to grow professionally in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we discuss why it's important for you to stop obsessing over a past relationship. If you don't know much about me, I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. There is no force more formidable than love. It's invisible, can't be measured, yet it's powerful enough to transform you in the moment. It's like a seventh sense that blinds all of your other senses. You know, at its worst, obsession causes us to gaze in only one direction at one thing. And we may become obsessed with a person, place, a goal, subject, but in the end, obsession amounts to the same thing in all of these cases, addiction. And it's an addiction to the love that was, to the types of normal that you got used to, at living together, at arguing, at being in love, at being miserable together. Like any addiction, it's hard to break. And to try to get over a cold turkey, woo, you become someone that a year later, you don't even recognize. But at first that love was intoxicating, right? Everything about it felt right. This is someone you saw yourself growing old with, someone that you could spend the rest of your life with but also like all addictions. In time, your obsession will begin to unbalance you. You often begin to neglect parts of your life that you really shouldn't. If you let it, your obsession causes you to devalue important dimensions of your life. Even in your life, if it remains in a good balance, if that man or woman is taken from you, it's devastating, right? And you start convincing yourself that you lost your last chance at happiness. I get it. Getting over someone is a process. But in that process, what I want you to understand is that you trying to extinguish your obsession like it's a fire is not going to work. You can't do things like this overnight. I'd much rather you seek to control it and not allow it to consume and overwhelm the other parts of your life. As human beings, our ability to try to control our emotions with some sort of willpower is extremely poor, but not our ability to manage them. We can make our obsessions work for us rather than work us over. And we can learn to let them go when the time comes. You can't just get over thoughts of someone when your wounds are still new, when they just got torn away from you. This process of going to require you to find a new normal, a new sense of purpose, a new sense of distraction, of productive yet meaningful time spent on things that motivate you. The steps we take to increase our confidence and regain control of our lives require you to do a few things. First is to get into your mind that it is okay for you to grieve. There is no person who leaves a loving and caring relationship and overnight is completely healed. It's just everyone has their own time, right? And don't let anyone ever rush you. Take the time that you need to deal with the things you need to deal with. Second is to understand that your emotions are always an ever flowing river that sometimes come at inopportune times. So instead of trying to force yourself to not think about it, live in the moment and be mindful and present and have enough self-awareness to let that moment be and then pass by. See, we think, oh, let me distract myself and that'll be it. And yeah, it does that for a couple minutes. But part of the problem when something is freshly on your mind is that you think it's bad that you're even thinking about it in the first place. Just because you've thought of someone doesn't mean that you want them back, that you yearn for them again. It just means it's a thought, quite literally. Lastly, learn how to let go of thinking that you can control the time it's going to take for you to get over someone. Here's the other thing. You hear me preach about personal development, right? Well, the definition of personal development is doing activities that develop a person's capabilities and build human capital and potential. It helps facilitate employability. It enhances your life, the quality of your life. And it helps you come to the realization of your dreams 
and aspirations. Personal development takes place over the course of your entire lifespan. The most important part of the definition I just told you is increase your quality of life. Each chapter in the book you are writing of your life is just as important as every other. But this one, this struggle of obsessing over an ex, over the past, over something you can't even control, it needs to be highlighted. So you can go back to this chapter and reread how you overcame it, how you transformed and inspired your damn self to get over the things that troubled you. That's a part of life. It's you creating a synergy to build off of, a reinvigoration of your motivations, of spending your time wisely, a distribution of your focuses on improvement in your personal life. You can choose to mope around about your circumstances, or you can do what Maya Angelou so eloquently wrote and stand up straight and remember who the hell you are and that you tower over your circumstances. You, my friend, are a byproduct of growing past your life choices. So choose today to overcome, to supersede, to be better than you were yesterday. Obsess over becoming better, over being more productive, over getting healthier, Stay focused on this moment, not on later on today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, not an hour ago. Live your life knowing that working in the present can't help you build a better past. It can only help you build a better future. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in today. And if no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become official to the squad. I'll be back soon with another video for you. But in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.